Hi guys, welcome back to Gajika Recipes and Vlogs. I hope you are doing good. If you are new to my channel, then uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the interesting vlogs and more easy recipes. In this vlog, uh, we will talk about uh, cherries and uh, how the cherry trees looks like and different varieties of cherries. And uh, we'll also pick some cherries from the cherry tree and then we'll come back and we'll make a nice, simple, yet delicious cherry vanilla dessert and a quick drink from the cherry cubes. So come let's go and pick some cherries and uh, we're taking the same path uh, what we had shown in the snowy days vlog and uh, you can notice the whole uh, view is different in winter season. And you can see how it looks like in winter in the link i'll place it above and uh, right now it is summer and the weather is pretty good it is uh, raining at some days and uh, sometimes it is sunny and warm weather and it can reach up to 34 degrees celsius yeah that's how extreme weather conditions at two different seasons that is winter and summer and one more thing in summer is that the sun sets around 9.30 late night. So the day will be longer in summer just to compensate the daylight saving during winter season. Where sun sets around early evening 4.30. So your life in these two extreme weathers will be too different. Yes, we have reached the cherry trees and uh, these are the cherry trees you can see everywhere and uh, they bloom in the March and April month of early spring and uh, it displays a beautiful view with its white or pink petals. Once the cherry blooms falls, the leaves start to grow along with the initial green cherries and uh, the leaves will grow to its full size and the branches spread out covering the fully ripened cherries. This uh, cherry colors uh, changes from light green at the early stage and then to yellowish when it start to increase its size and started to become fruit which is a bit sour. Finally it turns into a dark red with the shiny and crispy skin. When it is fully ripened which is sweet and little sour and uh, these cherry fruits uh, will hide behind these big oval shaped leaves so the birds can pick and uh, eat them then it throws somewhere else and then it grows into a tree again that's how you can notice cherry blossom everywhere here thanks to those birds for this because you can see a nice view when it blooms these uh, cherry fruits are uh, mainly divided into two categories that is sweet cherries and uh, sour cherries and uh, the one what you're seeing is a sweet cherry after one week we visited these cherry trees and now you can notice these cherries have increased in size and all have turned into juicy sweet red cherries and uh, we tried picking some cherries as we couldn't resist seeing those red cherries you can notice those uh, red shiny cherries yeah they're so delicious and we picked a few other cherries as well you can notice the birds have uh, also eaten these cherries these are the wild cherries what you're seeing and the fruit is uh, very small and uh, it is not edible and uh, these wild cherry trees are uh, mainly used for their wood in furniture industry and also used as a outer layer for instruments and other tools and it displays a nice view during spring i'll place a link above you can watch it when it is in spring and uh, these are the garden cherries you can notice those red juicy cherries you can even grow in your garden as well they can be consumed raw as they are sweet and uh, you can use it uh, with a yogurt and uh, it will be very much delicious and uh, 
we bought some of these uh, sweet tart cherries from the supermarket and uh, we will show you a nice dessert from these uh, cherries first we need to pit these uh, cherries here i'm using a straw to pit them it's a very simple technique you just have to put the straw near this opening and push until you can feel the seed then give a little hard push the seed will come out as the seeds are not edible you can notice the small cherry yeah even those can be pitted this way you can notice the difference in size of these seeds the one which we bought from the cherry tree is smaller than the one which we bought from the supermarket as these uh, seeds are not edible so you need to pit them yeah this is the best way to retain the fruit as much as possible and uh, you can notice all the cherries are pitted now we need to grind them to make a cherry puree they look so juicy you know you can put it inside the grinding jar and then uh, blend it to a thin consistency until it becomes you know fully ground then you can strain them to remove those uh, skin as their bit you know a little bit hard so we need to remove that then you need to boil this until it uh, reduces to a little bit sticky consistency then we need to add the sugar you can add uh, sugar as per the the level of sweetness the cherry what you're using here i'm using half cup of sugar mix evenly until the sugar melts and then uh, boil this uh, mixture until you get uh, light uh, sticky consistency you can notice uh, it is almost reached this sticky consistency then you can uh, turn off the flame and keep it aside uh, to let it cool down the two ingredients that is a crushed biscuit and then now uh, vanilla cream for that we have taken paradise cream powder for this uh, we have taken some 150 ml of uh, cold milk and then used uh, three tablespoon of this paradise vanilla cream and then uh, mixed it until this uh, creamy texture you can notice it is of pudding consistency yeah you can even make the cream from the egg and the sugar as well now let's start the dessert dressing for that uh, add two tablespoon of uh, crushed biscuit and then uh, layer with the vanilla cream you can use any glass of your choice for the dressing you can layer evenly and then uh, add the cherry puree what we prepared make sure it is cool do not add the hot puree as it will melt the cream and then you can layer again with the crushed biscuit you can layer like these three layers and repeat this until uh, some 2 to 3 layers and uh, you can even keep it in fridge for some 5 to 10 minutes then you can have this delicious cherry dessert which will be very yummy you will really enjoy this uh, dessert after the lunch you can uh, munch on this dessert I'll show you how it looks. You can take out a one spoon and you can see that juicy cherry puree along with the vanilla cream and the biscuit. Wow, it's so yummy. My mouth waters seeing this. I hope you try this recipe. With the cherry puree, you can make cherry cubes like this and uh, use it whenever you want to make a uh, cherry milkshake or just a plain cherry juice i've just added uh, plain water to these cherry cubes and uh, as the sugar was added to the puree no need to add the sugar again and uh, 
it will be a quick drink whenever you are craving for some juice or even you can add milk to make it a cherry milkshake the cherries are not available throughout the year so you can uh, even frozen the cherries and keep it and use it whenever you need It's really nice and uh, I hope you try this recipe if you find uh, fresh cherries or you can even make this recipe with uh, frozen cherries as well and uh, please do try and give a feedback uh, through the comment section in the YouTube channel and uh, thank you for watching see you next time please subscribe to our channel for all the interesting vlogs and more easy recipes Take care. Bye-bye. See you next time.